Martin, we came away with a point from Stamford Bridge on Wednesday evening, but you were very disappointed with that point. No, I wasn't disappointed because it's better than nothing, you know, but I was disappointed to keep a clean sheet 70, 75 minutes. And then we broke them six or seven times, you know, and it was an exciting game and we had uh, possibilities three times on the left with John Anaris, Kerim and John again. We had a few situations with uh, Berbatov and Sasha Rita, so I thought we could have nicked it in the end. But if you look at, the, for example, uh, the first half, we didn't play well, we couldn't get out of it because maybe uh, Giorgio was a bit too deep and he worked his socks off, you know, it was good. And as a team we worked hard, but we couldn't keep the ball in their half and the second half was better. So, of course, if you see the skills of Oscar Hazard, you know, he will be a star in the future, believe me. And the quality they've got, but we kept them quiet and that was good, you know, Torres. They never kick against our two centre backs, and of course, it was disappointing against Stoke 1 0. But can happen. Uh, I still feel that uh, nobody knows, but we did probably better than, than, than in a decade away from home. You know, we had five, five uh, games without a defeat away from home from seven. That is not bad, but all draws and one win against Wigan. So for us, it's probably not good enough, and that is what we should do better. Of course, we try to play in a flow and good football, but defensively we have to be tougher and don't lead goals. But it was a great, resolute defensive performance because uh, the first half, especially, there was a lot of pressure. Yeah, and I don't know if you, if it is a good thing to say, but I thought it was one of the best draws yes. for me over the last five years. You know, because they had to win. It was a second game on the Rafa. There was a lot of tension, so I thought, you know, first ten minutes we have to be tough and we have to try to keep the ball because you have to be brave against them and be tough, you know, defensively. And we did that. And that was that was, of course, I would have loved it if we could could have nicked it, but it wasn't to be, and it was still a point, not enough because we're still on 17 points. And but we are still building a team, you know. People think that this is. But we are still building a team, and if you see the, we are top heavy, you know, we've got good players offensively, defensively, we have to do a bit better, and we are working on that. You made a change uh, midway through the second half and put on young Karen Fry, who obviously has been away on loan, hadn't played very much football. Were you pleased with his performance? Uh, there was two options. I could have started him, but he played one game over the last four months. He played one game, and that was at Cardiff. Uh, and then after that, they didn't play him anymore. And for me, it was a matter of sending him over there to play games. He didn't, so it was better for me to call him back. And I told him and uh, that we need him. And of course, we got uh, Kakani Klitsch on the left, I got Hugo. But he did ever so well, uh, Kering Fry last year, so to have him uh, back again, 18 years fresh, he's stronger now, so hopefully if he starts to produce, because of course he's still not the best finisher and he lacks a bit of vision sometimes and, and we work on that, so he could be exciting for the future and I've got, so I've got two very good talents on the left now. No injury concerns ahead of tomorrow's fixture against Spurs, but obviously you've got the, the bread of suspension and what is the status on Alex and obviously Brian Ruiz? Brian will uh, join us next week, so that was a bit disappointing. They said, you know, if we could have played on Sunday, but you can't. I can't uh, ask the FA permission to play on Sunday, so we needed one or two other days, and and of course you can't do that. So Brian will be fit for next week to join us, not for this game, and uh, Kakani Klis will be the same. The good thing is that Kieran Richardson, uh, who could, can play in all positions on the left, comes back into the squad. Dimitar Berbatov again had a fantastic game on Wednesday evening, playing in a slightly different role for you. It's different because the first half he played up front and we played with uh, Giorgio Karagounis in that hole, you know, and he worked, what I said, we said before, his socks off, but with Dimitar, after the change with Mladen or Hugo up front, we, we almost uh, were equal to them, you know, we played with a lot of quality. so. Uh, I can play him as a number nine and I can play him in the hole and he's, he's, I think he's a fantastic player but I don't want to repeat myself because otherwise you know he will get uh, probably big headed and I don't want to see <laughs> Dimitra you know uh, but he should stay uh, on earth with his feet and he's, uh, he's doing a job he runs more than ever you know uh, he's got good stats he's fit he lost the club he lost the team he was captain as well because Red yeah. was not there so hopefully he can do this you know for a long time to come. And for him tomorrow, obviously, facing his old club Spurs, 
But on the flip of that, we've also got two returning, Moussa Dembele and Clint Dempsey, coming back to the cottage for the first time. Do you think they'll get a good reception from the fans? No, uh, uh, Baratov will certainly get a good reception and hopefully the two lads, you know, who played here and who wanted to move, you know, uh, because they wanted to go to bigger clubs and all credit to them because we know that. The only thing which is disappointing is that sometimes people say, you know, that they left because they were not loved. Now, you know as good as I do, and I said it so many times before that I loved Clint, I loved uh, uh, Moussa Dembele because, you know, they were good. Clint was good in scoring goals and Moussa was unbelievable on the ball. And uh, Moussa was a great boy and occasionally Clint was a good boy as well. And just in terms of the game, obviously it's going to be very tough. You know all about Spurs. They've got some fantastic players. Very disappointed after the defeat against Sunderland at home. How important to get back to winning ways now? Yeah, it's crucial. But of course you can't dictate that sort of thing. But uh, they've got more pace than any other team in the in the league. So we have to do something against that and still play our football. So hopefully we can um, defend the likes of Lennon and Bell. And of course, if Dembele plays, you know, will be different. So hopefully uh, he will be rested. But I've got a sneaky feeling that they won't rest him against us. But if we can defend against them, if we and we know their qualities, if we can play our own style as well uh, with uh, the players we've got in the spine, with our flank players, I think of course you always got a chance to win. And hopefully the crowd will be behind us from the first minute. And just one word about the crowd at Stamford Bridge. I didn't hear any Chelsea fans throughout the game. All I heard were Fulham fans. That must be amazing for you on the I know, time. but that was the same last year. Uh, I can remember QPR game. That was probably <laughs> the maximum, you know. I can remember a few away games. So it's getting more and more and more fans and better, you know. So, hope, of course, it's a home game tomorrow. So hopefully we get that sort of culture, you know, that uh, that uh, the noise will come from from all sides. Good luck tomorrow. Okay, thank you.